So big welcome to today's angel event for you. How are you? Please say hello, that'd be amazing. So it's fine tuning the messages with the angels this week. What you need to bring along, thank you for coming live and replay, is an angel feather. If you have one, I'm going to twiddle this round. <laughs> Bring a little angel feather with you for the meditation and ex angel exercise today. I have a cute little fluffy feather here, so bring your little feather along. Maybe bring a pen, favourite notebook along. Perhaps bring some water for after meditation. Maybe a nice herbal tea or something. Keep calm and relax. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming along. We start properly in a couple of minutes. For those of you who like to come live, please say hello and give you a chance to all turn up. If you haven't met me before, um, thank you so much for coming along. I'm Beverly Densham and I'm author of the beautiful book, I Talk to Angels, uh, one of the angel experts for Spirit and Destiny mag magazine. And I love to help you transform your life and business with the angels. And I'm also mindfulness Pilates expert teacher as well. So that's really wonderful. So we're going to do a gorgeous fine tuning the messages with the angels today. And I was having a little read of the magazine. Have you read the latest copy yet? Anyway, I haven't read it all yet, but I'm working my way through. It's very good. It's very good. So thank you, Spirit and Destiny magazine, for having me as always. You can read my angel Q&A in there, which is very good, I must say. Thank you to all of you, by the way, for sending questions in. I'm about to write the next article, actually. So we have got space for a couple more questions for the angels. If you, so if you want to comment with a question, um, two of your questions may be chosen or you you can send a message to the magazine or me if you have a particular question you want to ask the angels and it may be included for me to answer with the angels in the magazine um so please say hi how are you all and um are you looking forward to the event today i'm so looking forward to seeing you i just want to say a big thank you to all of you who came to my five day angel boot camp last week and it was gorgeous to actually meet some of you um, and do a beautiful angel session for some of you that was amazing um, my latest podcast, I Talk to Angels, of course, <laughs> podcast is out today, How to Feel Calm and Happy in One Minute with the Angels, so it's worth a little watch. Now, before we go into today's fine-tuning the messages with the angels, just get yourself set up. So ideally, bring a feather along, an angel feather. I've got this very fluffy little feather going on here. It's my little feather today. Um, bring a feather along if you have a, have one. If you haven't got one, don't worry. It's not the end of the world. Um, I can get you to visualise the feather and the sensation of what we're after today. That's absolutely fine. And I just felt guided before we start today's angel meditation and reading for you today that I really enjoyed in the magazine today reading The Welcome um, by Charlotte, <clears throat> the editor of the magazine. And I just think it'd be really nice to read it to you today. And then we'll go into today's meditation and reading. How does that sound, everybody? How are you all? Lovely to see you. Please, please say hello. Um, Spirit Lesson Magazine says, Hi, Beverly. Lovely to see you. Love that photo of the angel feather, Tracy. Yeah, it's one of my, it's beautiful, isn't it? I photographed it myself in one of my favourite woods in the world. And there's so many amazing angel meditation walks in these particular woods and it ended up being um, one of my angel cards in my deck of angelic meaning cards. Notice the signs around you. You may have a moment whereby your angels float a feather at a moment you need love, guidance and support. So bring your feathers along today, everybody. <laughs> okay, let's read your messages and then I'm going to read you this beautiful message from Charlotte, the editor of the magazine. Now I just said, hello Beverly, lovely you have had a wonderful week and equinox. I got your, I got my feathers this month, the brilliance. <laughs> Hi, Ornia, lovely to see you. And Marie, lovely to see you. Have my feather with me, says Marie, gorgeous. <laughs> and it's lovely to see some of you. I've seen you in boot camp last week. Ornia says, love the boot camp. Oh, that's brilliant. And Pritpa says, hello. Hello from, uh, is that Jellica? I hope I pronounced your right, name right. Right, let's read this to you. So this is the welcome in the latest magazine. I just think it's um, really poignant and some wonderful points here. So it says, the past year we've all weathered tough storms and it's fair to say our lives have all changed in some way. However, we hope this month's issue will help you put a positive spin on what has been a difficult time for us all. Yes, really, it's time to stand up and be brave. Be brave, everyone. One of my clients this morning who, who has a lot of problems in their body, but, you know, they come and see me for 
you know, their mind body strength program with me every week. So that, you know, they're helping themselves, which is great. And she said to me, she said it to me and everyone today, you can do it. So yeah, be brave. You can do it. You know, I was like, so proud of her to say, you can do it. She was saying you can do it to herself. And I was like, yeah, you can. It says our masterclass expert, Malcolm Stern recalls how losing his daughter has led him to helping people conquer their worst fears and find the hidden blessings, strength and meaning in life's tragedies. Plus, we introduce you to Cosmic Team cheering you on to stand tall and be your best. The Magnificent Seven have your back and we're here to show you who they are and how to start working with them. And let your soul find its voice with our guide to soul writing and how to tap into your intuition. So don't let fear or negativity stop you from living life to its fullest. Instead, when tragedy strikes, remember how precious life is and look for the moments of positive change you can make. We only, we've only got one life. Be brave and live it. Thank you, Charlotte. That was just um, absolutely beautiful. Give it some hearts if you liked that. Okay, so that is, um, yeah, really beautiful words there. So thank you so much. Right, are we all ready to get going with today? Are you ready to get going with today's meditation? and angel exercise yeah so get your feathers at the ready so one of the ways that the angels love to communicate with us is through clairsentience now this is feeling the presence of the angels now you may have felt the presence of your angel before and you may not and um, when I first got into angels I didn't feel their presence at all so it's not uncommon to either not feel them at all to start with or you may feel them, you may not, but whatever way it is today, we're going to encourage the development of your feeling the presence of the angels. Now, in my book, I talk to angels, there's a whole chapter on clairsentience and different ways you can develop um, your skills of developing this side of things with the angels. And a beautiful one, one of the beautiful ways that the angels love to communicate with you is, 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 is sometimes they're just saying hello and it feels like, so if you get your, your feather now, if you have one, either brush your little feather across your cheek and this is what it fe often feels like if a fe if, when your angel, your, when your guardian angel um, brings their presence um, an awareness to you in their energetic way and it's like it's like a little feather has brushed across your cheek but it might feel like a little tickle it might be across your forehead it might be at the top of your head um, but just brush the feather a few times and just be aware and then just close your eyes and just see how that feels that little soft as a feather and that's one of the ways that you may feel the presence of your angel. It might come as a whoosh down, down your body now. It can either be to say hello. It can either just be to make you their presence known to you in a positive way. They can be sending you love, unconditional love. Now, often when they do this, you might be thinking about doing something positive you, t for you and it's a confirmation to do it, that it's positive, that's the right thing to do. So sometimes they communicate in a way that they want to confirm something to someone to give you confirmation that is the right path, that is the right decision, that is the right thing to do. Or you might get a massive whoosh down your body or down your legs or down your arms <laughs> or, or on your face or on the top of your head. So this is one of the ways they communicate with us. So um, that's what you want to notice and watch out for in today's meditation. So thank you so much for coming, everyone. We're going to go into meditation now. Virginia, hi there. Got your feather. Brilliant. Um, there we go. Okay, let's start today's meditation. Are you ready, everybody? Let's meditate. <laughs> so let's connect in with the angels. I will use the Tibetan bells as well. So get yourself comfortable for meditation now. Thank you so much for coming from me and the angels. And you can either lie down or sit for your meditation. If you want to tuck yourself up in a cozy blanket, you can do. A time to connect in with the angels now as you breathe and relax. So welcome to today's fine tuning the messages with the angels. Clear sentience, feeling the angels messages, meditation. Breathe and relax. And breathe and relax. 
close your eyes, place your hands on your heart or wherever is comfortable for you. Just bringing in a little bit of seaside music for you, bringing that high vibration of the sea and the sounds of the sea. And in your mind, take yourself to a favorite place in nature or perhaps the sea. The breathing today for you is in through your nose, out through your nose, relax. Very calm, gentle, peaceful, relaxing breathing. Breathe and relax. With the affirmation, with the positive affirmation from the Happy Kids cards of I am loved. And you are surrounded by love. Connecting you in with the angels now, Archangel Michael. Please place a blue purple cloak bubble of protection around you and me and the Spirit and Destiny magazine Facebook page and the magazine, thank you. And that this meditation and reading today is for the highest good of you and me and everyone and everything around us. Thank you for live and replay. Guardian angels, please help you and me see, hear, feel and know what the angels would love to say today. Thank you. I'm going to go into a second angel prayer now, especially for you. If you have a copy of I Talk to Angels, you can hold it in a prayer position. I'm just going to give thanks to my book, I Talk to Angels. I'm going to read you that beautiful prayer, especially for you now. Just to connect you in even more deeply with your guardian angel. Guardian angel, please surround you with your unconditional love. Shine your bright light on you for guidance, positivity, healing, happiness and inspiration. Let your light shine in you like the sun in your life and work. Guardian angel, please help you to talk to you and to receive your guidance and love. With gratitude, I thank you. And just breathe and relax. And you're going to allow yourself now to feel the presence of the angels. You can feel the presence of multiple angels. We'll aim to feel the presence of your guardian angel today. We're going to bring in some positive affirmations in meditation for you. Keep your feet grounded on the floor, whether you're sitting or lying down, to help increase your clear sentience. And this is from I Talk to Angels. I give myself permission to feel my guardian angel's presence. I am profoundly clairsentient. Close your eyes, breathe and relax. I easily feel the presence of my guardian angel. Breathe and relax. I am a sensitive soul. My sensitivity is my superpower. Breathe and relax. I am out of the spiritual closet. I don't hide my spiritual side. Breathe and relax. I am a soul living in a human body, easily connected to my guardian angel. Breathe and relax. I am free to be me. Breathe and relax. When something is a good idea, I feel my guardian angel tickle me. That might be on your nose, your face, the top of your head, whooshing down your arms, legs, body, that sort of thing. It's like they're saying, take notice, this is good for you. Obviously look at things from all angles, but you know, they really, um, it's a really nice way. Close your eyes and just join in at the moment. Breathe and relax, you can comment afterwards. So just enjoy the meditation for now as you breathe and relax. When I need to listen, take notice of something, my guardian angel tickles me, that's such a beautiful one. The more angel tickles I receive, the more attention I pay to the message. So sometimes they can be very strong. Sometimes it's only a few times in a physical lifetime that they can be like, Ooh, so strong like whoosh down your body and and sometimes they just make it you know more apparent especially if you need to hear something a little bit more loud and clear and breathe and relax 
When I've done the right thing, my guardian angel hugs me with their wings of love. Breathe and relax. I am on the guardian angel frequency. I can feel my guardian angel's presence. Breathe and relax. I thank you, angels, for passing on the gift of clairsentience to me, and it's something that can be developed over time. But please don't beat yourself up in your mind if you don't feel your, the presence of your angel every time you connect with the angels, because it's not something that they will switch on and off like a tap. They often want it to happen when it's, um, you know, to make you pay attention. So if you did it every day, then um, it, it's not so, you might not pay as much attention to it. So that's why they don't always do it so often. So be aware of that. And breathe and relax. I'm going to bring the Tibetan bells back in. And just chill out and relax as you breathe and relax. You might just be relaxing in meditation today and that is perfect. You may or may not feel the presence of your angel today, but they are, they are there for you like a spiritual best friend. But if you're happy to receive a beautiful, loving hug from your angel then you can receive one right here right now and just allow your guardian angel to wrap wings of love around you and me enjoy this beautiful unconditional love of a hug your guardian angel loves you so much loves to wrap their wings of love around you you are loved and you are loved always and they're always there to help and support you during the good times the challenging times and the sad times of life they understand they know what's happened past and present but they're always there with their wings of love to be there for you picture some guardian angel wings now in your mind's eye picture the colour, you may or may not see a colour, not all of us see colours when we close our eyes, but just know that those beautiful wings of love and that presence is there for you, that's always positive, is always healing, is always loving, is always guiding, it's always helpful and that's always guaranteed. Thank you, angels, for this. Thank you to our guardian angels. Thank you to Archangel Michael for being here. Just asking Archangel Raphael now to surround you with an emerald green healing light, a cloak bubble of light around you. Thank you. Take a gentle breath in. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Giving thanks for this angel meditation today, fine tuning the messages with the angels. Open your eyes slowly. Have a glass of water, be really good. How are you feeling? Give it some hearts if you enjoyed it. Or even better as well, you can get a double whammy of commenting of um, how you enjoyed today's meditation. How do you feel before and after? Like if you felt stressed before and you feel good now, please let us know because it's nice to know we've, um, me and the angels and the magazine have made a difference to you today. Thanks for the hearts. Thank you. It was really nice. I just felt very guided and inspired to bring in the affirmations from the Claire Sentience with the Angels chapter from my book today for you in meditation. It's a beautiful way to affirm and whether you felt your angels presence or not today, it's a beautiful way to build up your confidence with this beautiful connection. I'm going to read your messages. Whenever you can't make it live, there's always a replay for you as well. Jellica says, I enjoyed it. Hearts from Lotta. Oh, thank you. Hi, Maureen. Thank you, says Sasa. Nigel says, thank you for the healing, Archangel Raphael. I hurt my shoulder on the weekend. Oh, bless your cotton socks. I hope you're getting that sorted. Sharon says, I've seen a beautiful butterfly today. Beverly, lovely, says Sharon. Okay. We have an earth angel come along. Um, you're feeling very lucky and blessed that you have met your guardian angel. Super awesome. 
<laughs> Sharon says, um, hi Beverly and Spirit and Destiny magazine and everyone. Have a wonderful day, says Sharon. Nigel says, after last week's meditation, I heard the name Gabriel and then on Thursday I saw a number plate with page um, two. Oh. We must bring in Archangel Gabriel. Thank you, Nigel. Perhaps we could do that in a April. We'll um, do, perhaps we'll do an Archangel Gabriel week, of course, with our guardian angels as well. But that might be quite nice. Um, can really help with communication and so many things. Nigel says, I often feel chills and then I start seeing lights. And that is lovely. And Nigel says, have you thought of doing a talk or meditation on spirit animals? Um, to be honest, no. Although I do work with unicorns. <laughs> um, Murray says, saw lots of orange and deep purple colours in the wings and felt light brushing on my right cheek. Yeah, did any of you feel the presence of your angel? Did any of you feel that little soft as a feather tickle today? Um did any of you feel that? I just felt very relaxed when I was doing it. I didn't get, um, I don't think I got the uh, many tickles going on there today. Oh, we had some physiotherapy and today, so that's very good. I felt tingles. Yeah, some of you will feel tingles on your leg, your feet, the top of your nose, saw green light and a lot of um, sometimes purple, says Ornia. Yeah, you're really feeling the presence of your angel. It's when you get any of these sort of little feather-like tickly sensations, you really are feeling the presence of your angel. It's beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Josephine didn't want to open her eyes and was wrapped in green light. Well, you could always stay there longer. <laughs> it's nice to share how you got on though. And some of you got to get back to work and stuff. Uh, it's different and different time zones for all of us, isn't it? And um, Virginia says, as I asked for a hug, I felt tingling on my back of my hands, cheeks, forehead, and the back of my neck. Lovely. Oh, that's lovely, Cher. Thank you for sharing. Beverly, I've been seeing loads of angel numbers, and I've joined a spiritual class. Really enjoying it, says Sharon. That's good. Tickle on my right hand face just now, says Sharon. Wonderful. Yes, yeah, some of you, it's some of you are, um, you're all over the world, obviously. So Zaza, it's 12.20 a.m. I always feel much better when I wake up in the morning. Wonderful. And Maureen says, let's see. We're going to reading next, everyone. I had a medical appointment at 3 o'clock. Around 1 p.m. I got a knowing to check my car tires. I had one tire nearly flat. Oh, gosh. I had time to take to the garage to get fixed before the appointment. Nail in the tire. Thank you, guardian angel. Yeah, they were guiding you to check it, weren't they? How interesting. Well, thank you for sharing that, Maureen. Yeah, follow your guidance, everyone. Sometimes, you know, it can be all sorts of things, can't it? Okay, so today is all about clairsentience and feeling the messages of the angels. If you, anyone else would like to share your, um, whether you felt your presence of the angels today, whether you just felt relaxed or you've gone stressed, relaxed, or let us know. So today's message, of course, is definitely the feather card. Notice the signs around you. You may have a moment whereby your angels float a feather at a moment you need love, guidance and support. But equally, that can be a way of communication of that sensation. It obviously it doesn't have to just be on the cheek, but, it's, but it can feel like that tickles, tingles or, a kind of, or even like an air pressure whooshing as well. That can be like a, it can be like a whoo <laughs> um, as well, it can be all, all sorts of things. Um, sometimes it can be a burning on the ear, it can be, and I just get it on my right ear very occasionally if something needs to be really pointed out. I get a hot right ear. Does anyone else get that? That's another way. Your angels can communicate with heat. Archangel Michael can make you very hot sometimes, so you always ask it to be cooled down. But with, with our guardian angels, sometimes they can make our ear hot. Today's affirmation um, from the Happy Kids cards, my decks of cards in... Um, Meditation today was, I am loved, I am surrounded by love. We're going to go for one more card message before we go today. It's gone a bit fast, hasn't it? So, here we go. Have any of you got a specific question, you, uh, a question you'd like to ask um, for the magazine? I'm, I write the Angel Q&A, so um, if you comment with a question, uh, two of your questions may be chosen for me to write in the next article, which I'm writing um, shortly. Lovely, loving your jumper, Beverly, says Sharon, thanks. 
<laughs> okay, we're going to do two more card messages. Angels, what else would you like you to know today? These are from my deck of angelic meaning cards, which I photographed and wrote at the beach um, in Dorset, UK here with my guardian angel. So, best card message, please. Feathered end of today's beautiful angel event. This one's really jumping out, the relaxation message. And it says... Relax every day, treat yourself to some relaxation, you will feel better and your work-life balance will improve. And just have a little think about what that means to you. Obviously, if you came along here today, live or replay, obviously well done for taking a bit of time out for you and especially if you did the um, meditation as well. Give yourself some um, well done's for that. Big well done. <laughs> and. I'm going to do a, another positive affirmation before we go today. Sharon says, I've got a tickle on the back of my neck. Yeah, you're feeling the presence of your angels. Quite a lot of you, aren't you? And Samantha's sharing that she also had a similar experience with Dakar last week because I'd forgotten about a letter to change the airbags and a warning light came on suddenly to remind me. I thought my angel must be reminding me. Yeah. You, you, you're, you're getting that awareness as well. Obviously, there was the practical thing that happens, and then, um, yeah, very much so, your angel's reminding you. Nigel's planning on going to the beach over the next few days. Lovely and cool here at the moment. Vicky's what needs a better work-life balance. Thank you for the reminders. I sit here working from home. Yeah, take regular breaks. Um, it's something I teach a lot in my... Um, mindfulness Pilates actually is helping people with the work-life balance and and how to practice the good things every day like the relaxation the meditation the affirmations the angel cards as well as you know mind body strength you know we need all need that okay so last card message today and then we're off any parting words from you beautiful spirit and destiny magazine last message of the day this is it it's the last one from the happy kids cards positive affirmations i highly recommend you pick one of these every morning what i like about me is what do you like about you comments with this it's not something I know we do every day and it's not about being bragging. Um, the angels are loving this. They are tickling my head now. I felt the angels today. Um, but they love this. The angels love, 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 love this. What I like about me is my positivity. What I like about me is my enthusiasm. What I like about me is my work ethic. Um, what I like about me is I'm a good mum. What about you? What do you like about you? Um, what I like about me is I stay, I keep fit and strong and, and toned with mindfulness Pilates and mind and body. What about you? What do you like about you? Uh, Sharon says I follow you on Instagram too, Beverly. Oh yeah, I am on, um, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, wherever you can find me. Looking forward to start, um, your classes on Monday. Oh yeah, Sharon, you're starting mindfulness Pilates with me. You're going to start my mind body strength program. That's brilliant. Um, sense of humor says Nigel brilliant really enjoyed today had a tickle on the top of my head and saw purple wings says Hayley oh wonderful my curiosity I love to learn says Virginia Maureen you love your empathy Vicky loves your ability to adapt and make um, my desire to always do my best Sharon says kind heart as I like about me Beverly and helping people oh that's beautiful beautiful Think of others but first before myself, says Samantha. Oh, thank you for sharing, everyone. And Spirit and Destiny magazine said on parting words today, thank you so much, Beverly. See you soon. Kiss, kiss. Yeah, see you soon. Thank you so much for coming to you. Thank you so much for coming, of course, Spirit and Destiny magazine. <laughs> thank you for having me as always. You can always find me over on my Beverly Denton Facebook page, um, on my I Talk to Angels podcast before next week if you want to come and hang out or anywhere on social media. Um, but otherwise, have an amazing, amazing week. Look forward to seeing you next week for another more inspiration with the angels, basically. Thank you, everyone. And um, share away with your friends if you're, if you're inspired to. Thanks, everyone. Lots of love.